Hello everyone, welcome back to Mother 3, episode 7, and this episode will be finishing up chapter 2. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so... There's a rope snake moment over here. We'll fight another one of these easy guys for some free XP. Easy. That's it for that room. Uh, I think I might want to use PK Fire against this. Oh, he's already dead. Never mind. Oh, didn't need to worry about that. We'll fight the other one too. Why not? These guys are easy, too. We're just too strong for this place, aren't we? Ooh, we got two, okay. Well, I guess we'll take care of the Lingering Spirit first, because he's easy. Actually, we'll Duster attack the Osohei Cape, and then we'll use PK Freeze against this. Since that's probably gonna one-shot anyway. Yeah, big damage. Okay, he's got a shield. But yeah, I don't believe you can combo when the enemy has a shield. So that's a little bit annoying. But we got out of their lives, so that's good. Oh, we got another present over here. Okay. Magic gelatin. I believe that restores psychic points, so that'll be useful soon. Another easy guy. Kill him in one hit. Oh, he snuck up on him. He's scared of us now. Five hits that time. They're just getting weaker by the second. What does that say? Danger. Brooms ahead. Oh boy, the brooms. These things are a bit of a pain. Remember that trash can from earlier? If you touch one, you have to. Well, I just did. You end up all the way back at the trash can. I'll cut out the part where I walk all the way back to where it was, because I don't want it to get super tedious. Alright, I've made it back to the brooms, so hopefully they don't sweep me up again, because that would be annoying. But I also... Oh, that's bad. By the way, whenever any character learns PSI, they can't run for a while and you have to take a bunch of steps, which is sort of a strange design choice, but... I don't know. It's not too annoying, but sometimes you have to walk around a little bit if you want to go away, which is kind of annoying. But anyway, whoosh whoosh, greetings! I apologize for being so sudden, but do you know the phrase? Yeah, we know that. It appears that one of your friends is not feeling very well. They aren't poisoned, nor are they sleepy, yet they just can't shake that ill feeling. They lack the energy to run, and using items or hot springs doesn't appear to help either. It would seem this is because something is beginning to awaken inside them. But I'm sure they'll get over it before long, so don't be too worried. Oh, that's all for this word on the wind. I should be going now, bye. Whoosh. So we can't run, which is going to make getting past these guys a little more difficult, but we did it anyway. So that's good. We also got a save frog too. I think we're coming up to the end of chapter boss soon, so we better start healing. Got to get all of our stuff back. All right. Oops. But we're past the brooms, that's what I was most worried about, because they are kind of a pain. Especially since you always end up learning new PSI before them. Oh, well we got a couple more enemies, I guess. Oops.
There we go. Thanks, Wes. That helped a lot. Okay. Let's keep going. Oh, we got a ton of guys here. Alright, we'll use a PK Freeze. Oh, he's got PK Freeze, too. That's not good. Oof. That's kind of worrying. This is a strong group of guys here. Oof. Come on, Duster. Gotta thaw out soon. Oh, we got a Thunder Bomb. Okay. Still wasn't thought out. Ooh. At least Duster can move again. Uh-oh. Oh, that actually took care of him. Okay. Well, we're looking a little bit rough right now, which is not good since we got a boss coming up. Not the hardest boss in the game, but... I don't know, I'll probably have trouble with it now that I said that. Let's... Do I have any healing stuff? I mean, I have that, but that doesn't count. Hmm. We're in a little bit of a rough state right now. Well, let's see what happens. Yes, here we are. This is where I hit it. Duster, this is the certain important item I had instructed you to bring back. It seems to be known as the Egg of Light or the Hummingbird Egg. Truth be told, not even I know anything about this egg. The Hummingbird Egg is a ball of secrets inside secrets that are inside even more secrets. Or something like that, supposedly, apparently. And now that ball of secrets is needed, This wound up in the wrong hands, the lid on the secrets would come undone, and bad things would happen. Just what sort of hope or calamity is hidden away in this egg? Not even I know. In any case, this hummingbird egg is our secret. But doesn't, but doesn't it seem kind of ridiculous that the egg of a tiny little hummingbird holds all the world's secrets? Indeed, it is quite ridiculous, but what's most ridiculous of all is this moron standing right here. Duster, this egg gives off such a thick scent of secrets, it's so concentrated, it almost reminds me of condensed milk. Yet, you couldn't even catch a single whiff of it. That's how much of a moron you are. You're a failure as a thief. Ouch. You shouldn't keep calling your own kid a moron like that, because if, if he really is a moron, he wouldn't understand anyways. Anyways, we can't let the bad guys get their hands on this egg. Oh, here come the bad guys again. Speak of the devil. There they are. We got three of those guys now. Oh boy. He's having trouble opening that door though. Have you tried opening it instead of ramming into it? Geezer, Duster, let's get out of here. Princess, please wait. I know it appears to be sitting there nonchalantly, but I placed traps around the egg. What? Traps? Uh-oh. Princess! My bad. Princess, are you alright? Yeah, I'm just fine, but... Huh? Whatever's the matter. If you're worried about that moron, don't be. He's been trained for just this sort of thing. No, it's not Duster. The egg is gone. Come again? That moron isn't gone, but the egg is?
Oh, the egg. Oh, and Duster. Yes, alright. Well done. I've called you a moron 11 times so far, but I take it all back now. Really, only 11 times? That would be more. You're no longer a moron. Hooray! Oh boy, there's a guy down there. I don't know if I'd say hooray just yet. Alright, here comes the chapter boss. I think I'll use... I'll lower his offense first, because he can do quite a bit. Oh no, and I actually don't have the... Ooh, I'm actually not very prepared for this boss. I'm probably going to lose this time around, so I'll end up cutting to when I do win. This is going to be bad. Because you want to use PK Thunder against this guy, I think, but... Eh. I don't have that yet. I have to do a little bit of training. Oh, and Kumator is dead anyway, so yeah, we're kind of screwed here. We'll see how much we can do. Yeah, we're dead. This is supposed to be an easier boss, but like I said, I guess my initial thoughts aren't exactly correct. So I'll cut to when I'm prepared and I actually beat it. Alright, I think I'm more prepared now. Apparently I was only like five steps away from getting PK Thunder. So yeah, now I have that and I think I'm prepared now. I'm also at full HP and psychic points, so we're doing good. I think this will be the time. Don't have a ton of healing items though, so... I don't know, I think I'll be alright. Okay, we'll use... PK Thunder. You also have life up too, which is nice. There we go, massive damage. And we got a Thunder Bomb too. I think I have a Thunder Bomb of my own. Yeah, I do. And a Running Bomb. We're definitely well equipped for the battle. Oh shoot, do I have any healing stuff? Alright, I don't. I'll have to use PSI. Okay, we're doing alright. Oh, here we go. Now we gotta heal. And we're gonna have to use... Oh no, so close. Oh man, that's rough. Not feeling good this time around. If I end up losing, next time I'm definitely gonna heal earlier. Oh, and we already beat it. Yeah, forget what I said, this boss is actually kind of easy. Well, that's good. Only took my... I mean, all I needed was PK Thunder, really. Went down pretty quickly. The rest of the chapter is just talking to people, so... We're doing good. Wow! Well, at least we're out of there. That's good. Here's a familiar place. Oh, you're awake, geezer. Where are we? My house? You and this especially tough girl got washed down the river. Good thing my dad was there, because I would have pretended not to see you if it had just been just me. 
I see. Thank you, Fuel. Well, he's an honest kid. Did you find that moron with us, too? You mean Duster? It was just you two. You know, for a couple, you sure do have a big age difference. Mm -hmm. That moron, I mean Duster, taking his damn merry time. He's in big trouble once I find him. You were both unconscious. You should get a little more rest. Don't be dumb. Let's go look for him right now. Alright. This is actually the only time in the whole game you get to play as Kumatora, so that's pretty cool. So I'll go talk to some NPCs, because that's the only time you get to see that dialogue. So we'll go talk to some people. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, maybe the animals don't have much to say. I'm Scamp. I had a feeling that something was going to happen. You suppose it might have been meeting you? I can't shake the feeling that something nice is going to happen to the village now. It could happen to me, even. Maybe. The reason why I want to talk to him is because he doesn't really say much unless you're playing as a female character. Kumator is the only female character you play as. So I was like, okay. There's some unique dialogue, I guess. Let's see if the pigs have anything to say. My rendition of a musical fanfare. Oh. Pigs. Yep, I agree. Here there's some pigs somewhere talking about secret info for something or other three. Come on now, what a nuisance that guy is. I don't know much about the secret info personally. That'd be funny if the pigs knew everything about the game, considering that they're kind of the antagonists. Moo. What does ground sirloin mean again? Oh, you don't want to know. We cows don't chew the fat, but we do chew cud. I don't know what cud is. I'll probably look it up. Even toad ungulates such as goats and antelopes are our brethren. Oh, we swipe at flies with our tails. Okay, well that dialogue isn't really that important. Let's go in here. Scamp hates how only men come to see him. I'm sure he'd love it if you visited him. That's the kind of guy he is. Yeah, see, that's what I was talking about. That's why I'm taking my time. Alright. Hey, mister. Are you a friend of Duster's? Sure am. Bet you're pretty popular with the girls, huh, mister? Hold on, Al. I think that's a miss, not a mister. Oh, that's, that's awkward. Alright, well, let's stop dilly-dallying. Let's get to the important stuff. Ah! Old Man Wes, where's Duster, that scumbucket? He's the only one I told about the money I hid in the well, and now it's gone, which means Duster stole it. That was my money! You've already asked a thousand times, but where'd you get it in the first place? And besides, what is money anyway? This sounds all too fishy if you ask me. Oh, there's Flint. Haven't seen him in a while. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Look, Wes and Duster are both thieves. They never did anything before, because we never had anything to steal in our village. But we all know they'd steal good stuff like money if they ever saw it. Alright, shut your hole and listen, punk. Who are you? A friend of the thieves? No violence. No violence. Old Man Wes. Let's just all of us calm down. Kicking up a fuss won't help us figure out anything, especially with Duster gone. Well, you're one to talk. The villagers and I believe you. So for now, let's just wait for Duster to come back. Duster, you moron. You better come back soon. The mysterious group that has been tinkering with the forest creatures is it, in almost toy-like fashion has finally commenced its plan to alter the town, the lives, and even the hearts of the people. It seems as if a grand scheme of some sort is hidden behind the actions of the suspicious peddler who had recently arrived. However, not everyone is content to sit quietly by as the enemy continues its odious attacks from every angle. Flint, whose family bonds were torn to shreds. Wes and his son Duster, the Thieves of Justice. Princess Kumatora, the mysterious girl who suddenly appeared. Destiny is bringing together those who would use their power for good. 
what has become of Lucas, the crybaby? Man, they just keep calling him a crybaby. Poor guy. That's it for chapter two. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a nice day. See ya.